Currently, Canada's temporary resident volume has increased significantly, now reaching up to 2.5 million or 6.2% of our population in 2023. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is VoiceOver Mariam. I'm just going to talk briefly about the recent updates, the recent immigration updates. And today, specifically, I'm talking about the spousal open work permits, um, SOWP. So earlier in the year, there have been a couple of um, immigration updates and announcements from the immigration minister in Canada, Mark Miller, as regards temporary residents, international students, work permit holders, and some of those um, updates and announcements are beginning to take effect. In fact, some have already started taking effect, but today I'm just going to talk about the SOWP, right? So I'm going to put some clips and pictures and screenshots um, on this video and just talk more about them in this um, short video. So um, I follow Olufemi Loye, um, Olu of Canada. He's quite popular on Instagram. So you will see a screenshot. The screenshot I'm going to read from is from his Instagram page. Um, so he said, breaking news, changes to spousal open work permits, SOWP program for spouses of international students in Canada starts today, March 19th. So this announcement was made earlier in the year, but the, the policy starts on March 19th. So um, international students, uh, spouses of international students attending colleges in Canada no longer qualify for a spousal open work permit, guys. I know this news, um, what this news have done to a couple of people that I know that were planning to arrive in Canada this year. Some of them had gotten admission and they were planning to come with their spouses and their kids, but that might not be possible anymore because um, this, the policy went further to say that those eligible for SOWP is when the student is studying, um, as a master's degree student, PhD, uh, or other professional programs, right? So those are the people that are currently um, qualified. Those are the spouses that are qu currently qualified for a spousal open work permit. Colleges, um, if your spouse is attending a college in Canada and you are not already in Canada, if you're still back in your home country, you can no longer apply for a spousal open work permit. So that's the latest, latest update. Additionally, spouses of students studying in one of the following professional degree programs at a university, not a college. Spouses of students studying in one of the following professional degree programs at a university are also eligible for SOWP. So if you're studying for a doctor of dental surgery, bachelor of law or juris doctor, doctor of medicine, doctor of autometry, pharmacy, doctor of veterinary medicine, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Engineering, and Bachelor of Education. Your spouses are also eligible for SOWP. So um, if you're planning to come to Canada this year, or for the, at least for the next three years, I think these policies are in place for the next three years, um, and you're going, to, you're going to attend a college, you cannot come here with your spouse. Your spouse can not get uh, an SOWP. Well, we all know that most people that come to Canada already have their bachelor's degree. Um, so a lot of people come here for either um, postgraduate diploma in colleges or for master's degree, right? So, um, but the announcement from the immigration minister, they have stopped issuing SWP for um, college um, students. So whoever is planning to come to Canada this year and going forward, forward until while this policy is in place, would want to consider actually going to study for a master's degree program. There's been several policies since the beginning of the year. It's it's been lots and lots of new policies, uh, but yeah, the international students should take note of this while applying for um, admission. International students should take note of these announcements while applying to come study in Canada. When you're applying for and processing your admission, you should take note. Um, try as much as you can um, to attend university if your plan is to stay longer in Canada or to have your family here together with you, which is vital. You would actually seriously want to consider going uh, attending a university and doing a master's degree program. This announcement does not affect people who are already in Canada and studying in colleges or 
um, studying programs that are not master's degree. It is its effect. It takes effect for for those who haven't arrived in Canada yet, and are in the process of applying for their study permit. Yes, yeah, so I just thought to come here and up, update you guys about these policies. I'll put uh, the videos out um, and the links to this announcement um, on the description box so that you can also take a look at it. All right, guys, I'll see you in another video. Bye.